game that we're working on. So all the theory are still the same, no real big difference there. However, I've added first person character, we have flashlight, we have so we've got the flashlight there, we've got the crouch here, uh, sprinting's working, jumping's working, we even set up some base UI. So with the base UI, we also set up our little stamina system. So we've got the regen stamina, drain stamina, which I won't go fully through. Um, but this is all it is. So if I go to the hidden, wherever it is, it's here somewhere. Uh, my brain just can't find it at the moment. I'll find it. Search to my cooking. So, where would it be? Yeah, not through this. Uh, well, anyway, it, it's hidden, and actually, I, I can just search. So, thought that just come up. But that's okay, if I just scroll down, it might just randomly pop up. Oh well, won't come. But that's okay, because all of it is hidden, so it starts off as hidden. Um, but in the event graph, so with the flashlight, when pressed, creates a flip-flop which sets the visibility to visible and pressing again sets it on visible so that's for both the torch and spotlight um, if we go back into ui there's been some changes so set up this achievements menu widget which we will be setting up achievements for and we have the back button for this working but we've had some more changes, so in the controls menu I'll be adding a, another button so that you can just go back, main menu, options, or well, actually no, I'll just keep it like this, that should be fine. Um, but in the main menu we have continue new game about, which is new, uh, this achievements button which works, so about menu, it's the same as the controls menu, so it is valid, creates the widget, sets widget to viewport, and about menu ref. And same with the achievements button, all the exact same. Um, so if I go back in our options menu, so we have go back about main menu controls, um, we've set up textures as well as the about button in this now. So I touched up some settings. So if you distance now, it gets the game user settings and then applies the settings after executing the console command. Um, same with the anti aliasing. So it gets game user settings, console command applies settings. But then we have this texture setting. So it gets the game user settings, sets the texture quality between 0 to 2 and applies the settings. Um, so I might set up Ultra for it, I'm not too sure yet. Um, and we got our little About menu section here, which is all set. Uh, but I'd say that's generally it with that. Aside from this base UI, so we got our little pinpoint here, we got Red Vision, which will be enabled later. We got stamina, health, flashlight, which you'll be able to toggle. Um, but if I go back, not UI, so if I go to blueprints, 
we set up torch with the so torch textures which need to be inputted uh, but I'll just show it quickly so when I click play it comes up as game project but we know that this is the name of the collector okay so this is your normal walk which has been adjusted which is all normal just quickly go to options and we'll adjust this properly and we want to go full screen there we go just bug a little bit here but that's okay So in the full screen, we want to go if we drop to that, we're going to go like that. Which is causing it to freak out a little bit, but that's okay. Twelve eighty by seven twenty. So if I just quickly go out of that. Don't mind it all fritzing everywhere because that's fine, that's normal. I should have baked it, which probably would have run easier, but I'll just go window, window full screen. There we go, yeah, that works. So because I'm streaming, it's just causing some issues, but that's fine. Uh